Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. January is Glaucoma Awareness Month. It's a disease many people don't really think about, but it changed my life several years ago when I was diagnosed. To help remind everybody to get your eyes checked, I started making a Glaucoma Awareness card every January. Here's a look at some of my previous cards. Over 3 million people in the U.S. have glaucoma. It's called the sneak thief of sight because there are generally no symptoms and once the vision is lost, it's gone for good. There is currently no cure, but vision loss can be slowed or prevented with early detection. Keeping with tradition, I have a new glaucoma awareness card to share today. I'm using two different paper collections, both by Doodlebug Design. This is some of their petite prints. The sketch I'm using is by Sketch Saturday. This is number 563. So I'm just using a polka dot tone on tone paper for the background. And I'm adding a couple of Love From Lizzie peel offs just to the bottom portion of the card. These are the straight peel offs in a green mirror color. Really pretty, it has a lovely shine to it. So let's go ahead and add some adhesive to the back of this piece and then layer it on some simple black cardstock. And I do have a hole cut out of the back. I used the matted background paper to cut out this circle. So overall, this card is fairly simple, sticking pretty closely to the sketch. I just used some solid green cardstock for that strip that goes behind this circle. And I decided I'm going to pop up this circle using some foam dimensional tape. So I make sure to get real good coverage so I don't have one side sagging at all. I recently decided to revisit some of Queen & Company's previous kits, and one of them is their Love Monster kit. I thought it would be fun to have a little green monster share the awareness of such a terrible disease. The Love Monster kit was designed to have little pom-poms for the monsters, but the dyes work just fine without those pom-poms. I actually really like the look. It has all of these embossed kind of lightly embossed circles where you would normally put those pom-poms, but it adds a lot of detail to the monsters as well. And there's a variety of different body parts so you can create different looking monsters. So I cut out the arms and the legs just using some dark gray cardstock, assembled the mouth, and this is gonna be a little girl monster. So I gave her a sparkly green bow. This sentiment, I always use this same sentiment. This is always under pressure, cure glaucoma. There aren't any glaucoma awareness stamps that I found out there. So this is just a sentiment that I made on my computer. And I have it on some of Doodlebug's pattern paper. It's very faint to see. It's white and has really light gray diagonal stripes on it. So I just use a stitched sentiment banner die to cut out that sentiment. And now I'm gonna add my signature banners in that upper left-hand corner. I have two different widths using some green cardstock and some black cardstock. And I cut both of these out using Queen & Company's foundation dies. And I'll just adhere them to the card using some red line tape. I attach the green banner first, and then I'll do the black one and just have it overlapping slightly, just off to the right-hand side. Then using this same green cardstock, I cut out this small little awareness ribbon. This is a die from Paper Smooches, but I bought it several years ago and I believe it is retired now. I just used some liquid adhesive and adhered it to the left-hand side of the sentiment. So now the little monster needs some eyes. I'm using some of the epoxy eyeballs from Queen & Company. You can buy just refills of these. One sheet has the epoxy stickers and then the other has the wiggly eyes. I decided to go with the epoxy stickers. So first I have the three eyeballs going across. Wanted to add just a few more since this is a glaucoma awareness card, but I didn't like the look. So I settled with three and I figured this monster needs at least one extra eye just in case her vision goes in one of the other eyes. Got to have a backup. So to finish off this card, I use some of Queen & Company's bling. I have some of their Frosties and also their Jelly Gems. And there is the finished card, and I think this little monster turned out just adorable. I do have links in the description box for most products used. And please get your eyes checked every year. 
It's a simple and pain-free test and it just may save your sight.